Everyone claims you can make a ton of money from dropshipping, but here's the actual truth. And no, I'm not trying to sell you a course. This is coming from someone who's watched hundreds of hours on dropshipping, started multiple dropshipping stores from scratch, bought a well-known dropshipping course, and even paid multiple people on Fiverr to create profitable stores. So here's the actual truth why dropshipping doesn't work for 99% of us. First, you have to have a winning product. And yeah, this one is obvious. No matter how good your advertising or website is, if no one wants to buy your product, you're not gonna have any sales. But the key thing that I learned from all my experiences with dropshipping products is even if you do find a winning product, someone is eventually gonna copy your product and sell it on their own website. There's literally websites out there that will track what's the best selling dropshipping product and actually list off how many of the products you're selling per month. It can tell you which category has the best selling product and offers tons of real data from other sellers to tell you a winning product from a losing product. Say you spend a ton of time doing research and through trial and error of selling products to see what actually works and what doesn't to finally find an incredible product that everyone wants to buy. It's just a matter of time until someone is gonna steal your product and sell it on their own website. The second downfall is the advertising. One of the biggest expenses besides the actual product and sometimes even more is the advertising cost. If you are creating a Shopify store, you will need to send your customer to your page to buy the actual product. This is gonna take time and money through trial and error to see what works and what doesn't. There's a lot of testing and it always needs to be updated. So you will need to update the wording, the video ad, where you place the ad, how long the ad is, the colors you use, etc. There's so many different effects on what is a profitable or a good ad to place. And in my experience with advertising, was always the most expensive cost, even more than actually buying the products. Advertising can be very expensive, but if you do have an Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook following, you can advertise directly to your followers. This could be a great way to get around for paying for ads, but you could only sell to your audience a handful of times before it becomes ineffective selling them the same product. So you either have to sell new products or post every so often. Most of us, including myself, don't have a social media account with tens of hundreds of thousands of followings for this to actually work to sell products to. Third and last, there's a big learning curve. Most of us, including myself, are looking for side hustles that you can start producing profits right away. I know for myself, I don't wanna spend a year or two to do research to maybe one day make money. With all my dropshipping stores, I have actually lost money, and that's with me even spending thousands of dollars and doing several hundred hours of research and testing to get there. There's also a bunch of other items to learn, such as website design, copywriting, shipping, customer questions, complaints, dealing with tax returns, product fulfillment, taxes, tariffs, and the list goes on and on. And I could probably name another 20 items or so that you'll have to deal with and learn. All these skills are completely transferable and valuable for other businesses and side hustles, but if your main goal is to learn them to only start a dropshipping store, it's gonna take a while to learn these skills to be effective to run a dropshipping store. Your time is better spent with another side hustle that will make you more money and a lot faster as well. Now, of course, there are people making millions through dropshipping, but through my own experiences with the main reasons presented in this video is why I'm completely trying to stop dropshipping and probably won't ever try it again in the future since there's a lot of other side hustles out there that will make me a lot more money and honestly, a lot faster as well. Tell me down below in the comments if you tried dropshipping for yourself and what has your experience been? Has it been similar to mine or a lot different? I'll see you guys in the next one and this is Kevin, your financial tutor, signing off. Peace.